Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Bedrug Van Tread for the Ram ProMaster 159 inch wheelbase. Let's get into it. All right, like I said, this is the Van Tread line of products from Bedrug. They also have another product called the Van Rug, which is for cargo vans as well. This is for the Ram ProMaster 159 inch regular wheelbase. That's very important when buying floors because you need to make sure that you get the wheelbase and body length right. With the Ram ProMaster, there is the 118 inch wheelbase, the 136 inch wheelbase, the 159 inch wheelbase, and then the 159 inch extended wheelbase. So make sure that you're buying the right product for your van or else it's gonna come up short or too long. Um, so I'm gonna take this down here, pull this out of the box, see what we got going on here. All right. As you can see here, this is all rolled up nicely um, from the factory. So it is able to fit into a box that can ship via UPS or FedEx or some other parcel carrier. A lot of times with the floors, if they're uh, solid or rigid or something like that, they have to ship on a pallet just because it's so big, you know, it covers the entire floor of a van. Um, so shipping is a little bit more money, but luckily with this product, you can ship via UPS. Now as I unroll this here, maybe you can see this better on the overhead camera. You can see this ribbing on uh, the bottom of the floor. This lines up with ribbing on the floor in the Ram, Ram ProMaster, so you kind of get this level floor. A lot of times if you have a flexible floor in the back of a cargo van and there's ribbing, um, you're gonna feel that when you walk around in it, especially on these larger vans where you may be doing quite a bit of walking around. Um, and so uh, it's nice that they put this in here so you kind of have that nice even floor when you're walking around. You're not gonna trip or anything like that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to unroll this entire thing here on the workbench, but a couple things I just wanna point out here. We have a textured finish. This is almost like a, a vinyl uh, material. It's rigid, it's not sticky. Um, it's, it's plastic, I think, um, here on the top, but it's nice and textured, so it's gonna be a non-slip surface, nice and rigid, and then underneath it, there's like this foam. If you're familiar with uh, bed rug or their van rug, or uh, uh, they make uh, liners for pickup trucks too, they kind of have this foaming on the back of it, and that's what we have going on here. And then the top layer is kind of this thinner uh, plastic material here on top. I did notice um, at some point, let's see if I can roll this over here. If we can show it, oops, on the camera without totally messing up the camera. Uh, right here, ah, let's see if I can get that popped up. Right here, I don't know if you can see that on any of the cameras or not, but there's a cutout for a D-ring. So, it is perforated, so if you wanna remove the D-rings and you don't wanna use them, you could cover over top of them and it's nice and flush. If you still wanna keep the D-rings so you can uh, strap stuff down and things like that, you just have to cut like little slits to open this fully up then it's gonna expose the D-ring underneath and then you can flap it back down when you don't use it and things like that. So those are pre-cut into the floor, which is a nice feature. Uh, the other thing about this is it is all um, cut specifically for the van. Now, if you have any aftermarket features in the van, like maybe you added in a heater or, um, wheel well covers or something like that, you may need to do some minor trimming to this to get it to fit. But if you have the from the factory, back of the van, it's probably gonna fit without having to do any trimming to it. Now just um, real quick here, I get this question a lot of how thick is the floor? Well, let's get that answer for you right here. Um, I'm gonna do this in millimeters. Um, so like I showed you, this does have ribbing in it. I'm gonna go from the thick part and also tell you the measurement of the thinner portion. So we're at 19.12 millimeters here at the thicker part of the ribbing. And we are at 9.15 on the smaller part of the ribbing. So that ribbing is about, what, 10 millimeters there? So from 19 to, to nine. So um, now this is layered. So we kinda of have this plastic sheet layer and then we have the foam below it. Let's see if I can get a measurement here of just the plastic sheet. That's about 1.4 millimeters of that plastic sheet. 
um, on top of the foam there. So decent thickness there. This is actually a pretty nice floor, especially when you consider the, the overall cost of it, um, especially including shipping. Um, but installation is pretty straightforward. Honestly, you just roll it in place and it sits there. Now it is rolled up like this. So um, uh, it may take a little bit of weight or time just for it to settle and get nice and straight. But if you have like some lumber two by four, you know, in the back of a permaster, you can fit a four by eight sheet of plywood or drywall or whatever, lay it on there um, overnight or something like that and get that nice and flat. Now, if you're looking for this van tread product or any other equipment to update your van so that it's work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.